Hey guys, it's Emily. So today I thought I would change it up and I'm gonna do a story time for you guys because I had touched a little bit on this when it had happened um, on Snapchat and on my Instagram story like right when the stories came out but I don't know how many people saw it and I know whenever I like do a live stream or anything like that people ask me about it still. So I thought that I would do like an entire story time video on it because I feel like it warrants it and I also have like a couple small updates on it. Um, I just want to say before I do this whole video, it's going to be mostly, it's going to be mainly me talking and I do have a lisp obviously and that makes it a little bit harder for me to say certain words so I stumble a little bit more than the average person and I can't obviously talk 100% correctly. It's not caused by my piercing so don't say that. Um, if it bothers you the way I talk then go ahead and feel free to click out of this video. I'm not offended. I just, I don't want to hear about it when there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say the name of this nail salon in the video. Uh, I think I can legally because it's a 100% true story. Uh, my friend was there with me and she says it exactly as it happened as well. She was with me when I got these sets and she was there when I went to the salon and confronted the owner. So I'm just gonna kind of go backstory and then story and kind of updates. Back when I was living in New Mexico, I went to mainly this nail salon and I went with my dad's girlfriend all the time because that was just our time when we hung out and we talked and yada yada. And we both went to the same person so she would do my nails and then she would do hers. And we went to only this nail salon for a really long time. I would say like almost eight months to a year. It was a long time and we'd go every two to three weeks, get them done. She went, my dad's girlfriend went a lot more frequently than I did just because my nails grow so slow that I didn't need to get them done as often. But she really loved this girl and she always tipped the nail tech really well. She tipped her I think always at least $50 because I, I do get my nails very long and it took a lot of extra time and she would decorate them and so on. So she always just really wanted to make sure that, you know, she was like really comp compensated for her time and effort and all that kind of stuff. So the nail salon itself was probably the one of the most popular and well known in where I had lived. And I lived mainly in the Rio Rancho Albuquerque area in New Mexico. So you probably, if you know me, you know which nail salon this is. So I was with my friend and she started going with us. I never liked getting my nails done. I've had a ton of bad experiences in the past because I get my nails so long and I mean I know they're long. So many nail salons hated doing them even though I would pay more and then some would charge me some crazy prices or they would literally like actively complain like wow these are so long are you sure you want them that long and I'd be like yeah I, this is how I like them and they'd be like can you handle that and I'm like yeah I've had them for years like it's all right and it's just so this but so the girl that would do my nails at this nail salon she never complained about it which is why my dad's girlfriend tipped her so heavily so I started out with the set of nails and this was a new set because I take them off about every two to three fills because I just it's just time to get an entirely new one you know what I mean so I got a new set I think on my birthday uh, so that was July 24th and then I went back and I got, I think a new set, or no, I got a rebase on, it. the last thing I posted was like August 18th, but I know it was before that, I just hadn't been posting very much. So I think I took about two and a half-ish weeks to go and get a rebase. They were color changing ones, and I'll show you the video really quick. Vaguely, they just kind of change color in between cold and warm water, and when she drilled them down, you know, took off all the gel and stuff, I kind of noticed that it was a little bit of dark underneath and I really didn't think anything of it. It just never came to my mind that there would be anything like underneath. So time goes on and I didn't really think anything of it. Everything was normal. So I think I had them on for two and a half weeks again and then I took them off. So when I took them off, I had a couple of nails that were green and I was like, whoa. And 
they were like this. I remember one of my thumbs was very green and another middle finger was green and then all of my other nails had like little bits of green on them and I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. And like, I kind of think I just freaked out so much that I didn't want to rationalize what had happened because my nails to me are like always have been a part of me. Like if anyone knows me, I'm that girl with the really long nails, you know? Love it, hate it. That's just what I feel like I'm a little bit known for is just having these crazy, weird, long nails. I was just kind of like, uh. So I kind of like ignored it for a day. I just like didn't want to think about it. I texted my friend Jamie and she was just like, wait, what, what happened? And I was just like, what do you think this looks like? And she was just like, oh my God, you've got nail fungus. So something about me, mold freaks me out. Like it gives me so much anxiety. Like I pull something out of the fridge with mold on it. I don't care what container it is in. I don't care what it is. Like I don't, that and like everything around it is going in the trash. It scares me deeply. So the fact that it was like on my finger freaked me out so bad. I texted my dad's girlfriend and I was like, oh my God, like what? Like, what do I do? And like, I just didn't really know what to do because I don't feel like I've seen a lot of this happen to a lot of people. I just like really didn't know what to do. And for a couple days and I was like, you know what? Like I did some Googling. It was kind of hard to figure out exactly what it was or what caused it or da da da. So finally, between me, Jamie and my dad's girlfriend, we like, we found some information, you know, basically says it was, you know, like nail fungus and it was from uh, most people have gotten it from unsanitary tools at the nail salon. I didn't know what to do, so I got, you know, like the regular nail treatment type of stuff and I started putting it on and it just literally wouldn't make a difference. And I know now that you just have to let it grow out and that's all you can really do. But I didn't, I, you know, I just wanted to kind of hope. I didn't want to like accept that that's what, especially because it freaked me out even more because when I post videos, people would be like, oh my God, where are your nails? Because they followed me for my nails and that was like, so, that scared me that people were gonna like literally unfollow me for not having nails. Then I was with my friend Jamie and I was like, hey, like, cause I couldn't go and talk by myself because I just, I'm not that, I'm not a very confrontational person. And that kind of goes in with like, I never complained about the nails, even though she tried her hardest. Like, I know I got so many comments on, especially this picture right here that they were lumpy and you know, they're obviously not, super super well put together so one day i was with her and this was probably like just a couple days after i took off my nails probably three or four i don't know exact timeline i am awful with time it wasn't that far off of when i taken off my nails so i was just like you know what like i was like what do i do and my friend was like you need to call them and like let them know like i wasn't thinking like oh i'll get something from this because like what are they gonna give me they can't take back the infection essentially you know like there's nothing they can really do obviously no matter what I never wanted to go back because I got an infection from them so it didn't matter what they offered essentially I just really wanted like an apology you know what I mean like I am sorry that we screwed up your nails that's kind of just all I wanted I called and the girl I knew who the girl was that answered the phone it was this girl and truthfully I had heard her I never said anything because it didn't really matter to me. I didn't feel like I needed to go out of my way to like say this until now. And this girl I had heard before, she was never very pleasant, especially to like a lot of other people. Like she would go and soak off my dad's girlfriend's gel nails. And while she was sitting there, she would sit there and complain the entire time about the customers and say that they were stupid and yada yada. And I know that on their Facebook, Facebook reviews, they also have a lot of complaints about her. So I call and sh I say, you know, I need to speak to the owner. And the owner's name is like the name of the salon. So like she has a lot tied to that. It's easy to know who the owner is because it's the name of the salon. And she actively like works in there too. She doesn't just like run it, she works in it. So I, you know, say, hey, can I, I need to talk to da da da. And she says, why? And I say, well, I got an infection. I need to talk to her. And she goes, well, she's busy. And I was like, okay, well, I'll wait, you know, like, it's not like I'm just gonna get off the phone and be like, oh, she's busy. She's like, hold on. And so she went and I guess talked to her. And so she then says immediately, like, can you come in? And I was like, I guess so. So me and my friend Jamie, we go. And here is where I'm gonna insert a picture of my nails. And 
if I don't know what word if you're sensitive to like that type of stuff skip let's say 10 to 15 seconds okay now I'm gonna start the picture now okay so now that you've either skipped ahead or you looked at it um you probably looked at it that is what it looked like um it was on I would say most of my fingers it was a lot fainter in some than others and I know some people especially I'm gonna get attacked by the nail the licensed nail technicians which always come at me about everything you know they're gonna say no you did it it's because water got trapped blah 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 so the thing is with a lot with these nails the ones that were the worst were the ones that hadn't lifted these ones were the ones that I actually had to soak off they would not come off. So these ones are the ones that were like sealed. They were sealed. I, you know, like I've had nails long enough to know they were sealed. The ones that were worse, the ones that were lifting and which is why I took them off were the ones that had, had it faintly, which means that obviously the air helped it. That was really my indication that like it wasn't really my fault. So, you know, like they were a fill. So at the first time, if they had lifted and she should have cut it out, you know, like took that part off and then, you know, redid it when I got a fill. So I had seen the nail tech, and I know this for 100% of a fact, 100% of a fact, I would watch, like we would get there because we'd have an appointment, and the nail tech would, you know, do that person, and then she would immediately take me or my dad's girlfriend. She would not say, you know, she would not, I never saw her switch out tools. I never saw her put it in the, sanitizer which I'll get to later that the owner speaked on and she would take us one after another. The owner said it herself that it takes 10 minutes to clean and I know for a fact we did not wait 10 minutes in between. She did not even get up. You know we drive to the nail salon and I go in and I the desk girl is obviously annoyed so we go and you know I just go sit down. I'm not gonna be you know I wasn't being rude or anything like that. I don't really know what exactly I was expecting. I think the whole time like driving over there, I was like, like, I don't know what to say. So a couple minutes went by and then the owner came up to me and she's like, I'm sitting and she's standing like directly in front of me, like enough so I couldn't get up without like kind of knocking into her. So she's standing directly over me, like looking down and it was like, so let me see it. So I was like, okay. So I showed her my nails and she was like, not my fault. And I was like, I didn't say it was your fault. I said it was your salon's fault. So like, you know, she says, not my fault. She says, water got trapped under there and that's what caused it. And I was like, well, you know, I know that that can make it worse, but essentially what I was told was that if water gets over there, it makes it worse, but it doesn't put the bacteria or, I know I'm not gonna be using the right terms. I'm, you know, it was there. And then if that, it helped it grow, but it was already there. She basically, you know, we go back and forth. She tells me, you know, it's not her fault. And so I'm, I keep telling her, yes, it is. She keeps telling me that, you know, this is what caused it. And I say, no, it's not. And then, and then she tells me that to avoid lifting, I need to be coming back every week. She says that some people come back into the salon every five to seven days, five to seven. Have you ever gone back and gotten a, like a fill or, or a rebase or whatever you call it? in five to seven days after you've gotten your nails done? No, because no one has money for that. No one has time for that. No one, no one does that. That's not a thing. I've never heard of that in my entire life. And then she goes on to say that if I would have come, that I needed to get them done more often and da da da, and how it's my fault and how I wasn't taking proper care of them. And so then it went back to me telling her if I wasn't taking proper care of them, it was because the, her nail tech didn't inform me on the proper way to take care of them, you know? And she compared this to like, she said her words. She says, well, if you go to get your hair done, they don't tell you how you need to take care of it after. And I was like, yeah, they do. They do. I don't think I've ever, what, what? She said some other things. I don't want to put, I don't want to say anything that's not true, but I feel like she took it even farther than that. It was something really extra about something that they do tell you how to take care of it. You know, like I was, I told her, you know, like if you're providing a service, 
you need to be telling people how to take care of the service that they got done. Example like, hey, to avoid your nails lifting, you need to come back every five to seven days. And if they had told me that in the beginning, I'd have been like, no, but at least I would have been informed, right? So then she goes on to tell me that I was warned about the length of my nails causing this issue. The length of my nails did not cause this issue and I was never warned. No one ever said anything about the length of my nails. All that would happen was all the ladies in the nail salon doing nails would come over and they'd be like, wow, that's so long. And I'd be like, yeah, it's really long. And that was every nail salon I went to. It just kind of went back and forth for between me and her for a while. And I'm not the person that will bring up my Instagram just because I don't feel like it's fair. Because I feel like any, and I feel like, I, I mean, I am normal. I don't want to say I'm not like a normal person, but anyone without a following essentially can't be like, oh, well I have, you know, this many people that will know about this. So I didn't even think to bring it up. So I wasn't getting anywhere with the owner. And so my friend goes, do you know how many followers she has? And then that like, the lady was already mad, but that like struck a nerve. Like that made her go off. So then, and keep in mind, this is in front of like an entire full salon. This is in front of everyone. She goes, I don't care. She is screaming at this point. She is like full blown yelling and directly down at me and in my face. I don't care. You go tell everyone on the internet. You go tell blah, blah, blah. I don't care. You report me to the Better Business Bureau. And I was like, okay, I will. Thanks for the suggestion. I was already going to. And I was like, okay, I will. And then she goes, good. And I don't want to ever see you back in my salon. Get out, you know, like go tell everyone. And I was like, good. And then so like she was being so rude that I was like, I'm going to say something as I leave. So then as we're leaving, I'm like, hey, everyone, this nail salon has fungus. I got fungus here. And I was sc not screaming, I guess maybe screaming it into the salon. And I know that caused like a huge thing. And so after that, I'm pissed. And so I go, cause I go to the doctor because it was actually kind of hurting. Like my nails were already kind of really thin from acrylics. So I went to the doctor and they said that from her knowledge, it, you would get this from the tools. I got like some, she gave me some like hardcore antibiotics that made me like really off for a couple days. It was like, three or four pills, but they were like, I couldn't take them too close together. Otherwise, like it would make me feel really bad anyway. And then she also gave me this like nail treatment stuff, but she told me essentially I have to just wait for it to grow out, which was like four months, which sucked a lot for me. It's like, I feel like naked without them. You know what I mean? Like everyone asks me how I do things with them, but really I can't do anything without them. After that, I was pissed. You know, obviously the owner wasn't gonna, you know, apologize or do anything. And I was like, you know what? Like at first I'd never, of course, I like didn't post anything on my Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that because I wanted to go and talk to the owner before to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think it would be fair to just automatically like put it on the internet. You know, I think it was fair of me to go and talk to her beforehand. Obviously that didn't work out. So then I took the Snapchat and I went on this long, 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 long rant, which I don't normally do on Snapchat. Well, I didn't encourage it at all. I did not encourage it at all. I didn't say to do it, but she got a flood, flood, flood of bad reviews. It ended up bringing down their like four star rating to like one something. While that was all going on, they literally straight up lied. Like we're making up blatant lies because they said they were telling people I was told that I could come back for free. Never was I told this ever, ever, ever that if I broke a nail or a nail lifted, that I could come back for free and they would fix it. That never happened. And in fact, when I would get them fixed on my, like my rebases or fills, I would get charged extra if they were broken. After like that all calmed down, I kind of just like had to deal with it and I just let my nails grow out and I kind of did them myself, which is where all of my like makeshift nail videos came from because I had to be so careful not to spread it and to just make sure they grew out. So I did them so, clean but I still kind of like had nails during that time which I know you're not supposed to don't recommend that but that's just what I felt I had to do fast forward a little while my friend had gotten a new set before not a new set my friend went to a different nail salon and got a rebase um, of her nails before I had told her about my nails 
And then she ended up taking those nails off, I think two to three weeks after the whole incident. And she had a little bit of green on her nails, like the very tips because they had grown out. That was another incident that was completely unrelated to me. I've had two separate people contact me since then and say that they also got it, the exact same thing from the same place that also like reassured that it wasn't just me. So yeah, that's kind of my nail salon horror story. Yeah, I think I just have a lot of bad luck with nail places, especially I went and got my nails done this past time and the lady admittedly that she messed up and that it didn't come out right, especially it wasn't how I wanted. I wanted green holographic, but like the, the powder didn't work correctly. So she said she so she just like kept piling it on. So now that's like silver really instead of holographic. This one's better. And she charged me full price and then told me that she didn't have time to fix them. I just have really bad nail luck, I guess. You know, I'm curious if you guys have ever had a bad nail experience. Leave it in the comments down below. I'm gonna read them all. I hope you haven't had any bad experiences, but I feel like it's a common thing to have like a bad nail salon experience. Let me know, leave that down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like or a thumbs up, same thing. And subscribe to see future videos. Thank you guys so much, bye.